to your health. Sponsored by Assi Dental Associates. Leaders in the low country are increasing efforts to improve mental health in schools. In today's To Your Health report, News 2's Megan Fee tells us how a program from the Medical University of South Carolina is impacting districts across the state. MUSC's Boeing Center for Children's Wellness Initiative reached 19 districts and over 200 schools, helping over 125,000 students in 2022 alone. And now a new impact report reveals how a recent pivot is changing school cultures across South Carolina. When Meredith Barnett traded the operating room for the classroom, she quickly learned an important lesson. Got them caffeine um, and the massage chair. I had no idea in school nursing how important it is to take care of the people that are caring for our children. The mom of four putting two decades of experience as a post-anesthesia nurse towards improving wellness among the students and staff at James Island Elementary. She created a walking path for students, a wellness room for teachers, and motivating challenges for all. 30 days, they love it. Even bringing home a few awards for her leadership. Very proud that we were runners up last year. Winners actually. <laughs> Barnett winning big and losing big too. That summer I made a commitment to get more healthy and in turn lost around 55 pounds. Now a new report from MUSC reveals how school leaders like Barnett are putting pediatric research into motion. I'm like the pediatrician for 150,000 kids. I love that. <laughs> Since Dr. Janice Key designed the method 12 years ago, it's caused a major drop in the average South Carolina student's BMI and even raised high school graduation rates. We ask the school what is needed and then we go out and find evidence-based proven programs to address those needs, fill the gaps. Since the pandemic, though, its focus has shifted. Its newest version implementing activities like art therapy, walking groups, and even trauma therapy. By doing that resiliency work, we hope that we will be upstream and prevent so many kids from becoming depressed. And it's a trend Barnett has witnessed firsthand. We're seeing a lot more anxiety, a lot more depression, a lot more, you know, um, social issues with the kids. She credits the initiative for expanding counseling resources in schools. On her 2023 to-do list, continuing that wellness work and tending to the school garden. Seeing all of the hard work kind of come to a fruition with the children and the, the staff, that is just so rewarding that you just want to keep doing it. Megan Fee, count on two.